Now welcome to your beautiful home. Hi, this is Jake Bautista from Metro Guide Realty and this is Shuki and we'd like to welcome you to a modern and beautiful minimalist house and lot for sale located here in Ayala, Alabang, Muntinlupa City. So this is a gorgeous home that's built on a 792 square meter lot and join us as we begin this property tour. So you see it has a very wide frontage with two entrances for a driveway. So let's let Shuki down. So he isn't included in, with the house. He's just the guardian for now. But right now you can see, as you turn to the right, you have a massive facade with a very modern and striking design and a driveway that can easily fit two to three cars. And as we walk over here, you have these beautiful African Talisai trees providing a shade and additional privacy to the front of the house. And turning over here, you see that you have a carport area that can easily fit four vehicles. So to give more details on the property, on top of the 792 square meter lot area, you have a floor area of approximately 600 square meters across two floors. In addition, for the developed area, which is the entire lot area plus the second floor, it's approximately a thousand square meters. Now from here, you have a door leading to a storage room and access towards the living area. Let's take a quick look here. So you see, it's a spacious storage room. And heading back out, let's now take a look at the main entrance. So you have additional down lights throughout the perimeter and even the front of the house. So this looks gorgeous in the evening. From here, you have an elevated entrance area with a koi pond and a decorative fountain area. And you have this massive entrance door with a high ceiling for the entire ground level. Now, welcome to your beautiful home. You're welcomed by a very refreshing design here upon entering the house because instead of having a solid wall here, you have these metal louvers which give you security but give you plenty of ventilation, light, and also a nice touch is you can even hear the sound of the koi pond and fountain from here. And on top of that, as you turn right here, you have these double doors leading to an amazing living area. Wow. So you can really see how massive this living space is. This is easily a double height ceiling and you have these gorgeous minimalist light fixtures which give you a very modern feel but having a wooden ceiling gives it a very warm atmosphere as well. In addition, you can imagine having even two living room sets over here and you already have a massive split type air conditioning unit here. You can welcome guests here, have family gatherings, and you have such 
an amount of natural light coming in all the way from the windows reaching to the almost second level of the house. And you also even have a nice view of your driveway and the surrounding garden space at the side of the house. Now from here, you have a second living space. You have an enclosed patio and guest area. So you see, you have our guest here. Hi, Shuki. So you see that you have an additional space over here where you can have your family on one side, guests here, or interchange them. And you also have a split type air conditioning unit here already. And you have glass all around covering three sides of the room. And you have access here towards the main hallway. You have access on this side towards the side garden. And on this side, you have access opening up to your main garden and swimming pool area. So coming out here, you see that you have a very wide and open vista of the facade of the back of the house and your swimming pool area. And you even have a really spacious garden area here, which is excellent if you have barbecues or gatherings and it's even very <laughs> pet friendly. So you see, Shuki has a lot of space to play around here. And from here, you see that you have a lap pool area so we're just going to have some cleaning for the pool to be done but you see that this is excellent for doing laps and in addition you also have an area here with steps which is excellent if you have small children at home or if you just want to lounge and relax in your pool so from here you have an additional shower area here and an additional storage area at the back. And here's another vantage point of the house. So once again, you have an African Talisa here at the back of the house. So it gives a lot of shade, but in addition, it's very aesthetically pleasing in terms of the of how it looks. It looks naturally pruned. So from this angle, you can really see how unique the structure of the house is. You almost seem to have two separate structures. This is where you have the main living area and the master bedroom. And on the other side are the main dining, kitchen, and other bedrooms connected by a second floor hallway. But let's take a look at these rooms over here, beginning with this one which is your guest room. So you see that this serves as the first bedroom in the house. And you also already have a Panasonic split type air conditioning unit. It's very spacious, it's regularly shaped. You can easily have a large, even king-sized bed here. And it's also well lit, even with windows, all the way here on the other side. It already comes with beautiful custom-built cabinetry. You even have frosted glass and easy-to-open cabinetry. And as you open this, you see that it also has a full bath space. So small details are it has a tempered glass enclosure, it has an exhaust fan, and in addition for additional ventilation, it also has 
a couple of windows. So you can just imagine coming out here in the afternoons or early evenings, this is such a cool and relaxing space. You once again have an African Talisay tree here and you have these three sliding doors, all with, with screens as well, that lead to your formal dining space. So you're welcomed by a spacious dining area that's very well lit with large windows on both sides. You already have a high ceiling, LED lights, you have roll-up blinds, and you even have a split-type air conditioning unit already. And you can open up this area and you have a spacious patio leading to the service area towards the front of the house. On the other side, you have an additional rock garden space which you can further landscape in the future if you'd like. Now let's head on in. But this entire space is excellent if you want to have an additional al fresco dining space beside your dining area on top of what you already have beside the pool, especially if you have gatherings. So you have these two sliding doors on both sides of the dining area leading towards the main kitchen. So the main kitchen has multiple access points. You have those two sliding doors leading to the dining area. You also already have your own air conditioning unit here. And you have this nice island countertop. You can really make this a nice informal dining space because you can easily have like three or four stools all around here. You already have an Elba branded range hood, cooktop and oven. And you have this really well-designed cabinetry with frosted glass. And a lot of additional space here. This is where you can have your refrigerator. And it's really well lit, especially if it's very important for you to have a very well-ventilated and well-lit cooking space. So you have this large window here looking out towards the side patio. And now from here, you have a swinging door. A swinging door is important, especially between the auxiliary and main kitchen because you usually have a lot of dishes and other things moving in and out. So you have to go in a rush. Sometimes you're carrying a lot of things. And you see that the auxiliary kitchen space is once again very spacious. You have your circuit breakers here. You have an additional cooktop on this side. You have an additional sink and you have the maid's room here on this side, which has its own bathroom. So from here, you have an additional security door. I'd even like to note that this is not a normal door, just for security, since this is an access door to the side of the house. This is already welded. And here's another view once again of the patio towards the dining space. And on this side, you have an additional covered area. This is where you have your driver's room. So the driver's room already comes with its own bath space over here. From here, you have additional access towards the front of the house through the security gate towards the carport area. And now let's head back in through the auxiliary kitchen, main kitchen, and back to the main hallway. So from here, 
Do you see how well integrated the entire space is? And you have an additional sliding door access here towards your main hallway. So from here you see that you have a central hallway which serves as the hub of the entire ground floor. Because from here, you can go to the pool area, the guest room, the dining, the main kitchen, the living area, the garden. You see that the security wall is also high. You also already have an additional bamboo fence giving you additional security as well, but it gives you a very cool feel for the entire garden space. And on this side, you have a powder room for guests. Let's go. So this is a fantastic vantage point heading up to the second level. You have the warm tone of your narrow flooring and on your left, you have this tempered glass window giving you a great view of the front of the house and your koi pond and fountain. It's also well ventilated because you have these louvers on the right side. Welcome to the second level of this home where you have four bedrooms and a family room. From here, you can really see the unique configuration of the house because you have a guest area over here and an additional sliding door, which gives greater privacy to the area where you have the private bedrooms. And if you open this up, you have a very warm and welcoming den area and guest space. So once again, you have the warm tone of the narrow wood flooring. You have ample LED lights. You have additional windows here, letting in a lot of natural light. And in addition, you even have additional curtains over here. If you want to keep the sunlight out, even from the hallway, you also have a nice feature wall over here with display shelves and you already have a Panasonic split type air conditioning unit. You can imagine having a big screen over here and making this a really nice movie room or even a home office space that the entire family can share. Now from here, once you open this up, you're into your inner sanctuary where you have the private bedrooms. So walking over here through the hallway, you see that you have an additional second family area on this side. So this house really has so many amenities. You have the pool, you have the main living area, the second living, patio area, you have the family room over here and you have an additional private family hallway on this side with its own feature wall. So once again, you have the display shelves and an area where you can have a television set. So you can even have a sofa on this side and you even enjoy a nice view of the front of the house from here. And if you look over here, you have a really pleasant view of your pool area and garden space. Speaking of great views, let's now take a look at your master bedroom or primary bedroom. Welcome to the master bedroom. It's a large rectangular shaped room which gives you plenty of options in terms of how you want to arrange your furniture. It's also very well lit with windows on two sides of the room. You have two large windows here which are also doors 
leading to a balcony space. Now let's take a quick look. What's really nice about this balcony is you can really afford to make it very spacious because even if you have a table and a couple of chairs over here, you're not exposed at all to the front of the house. You have a private courtyard space over here overlooking your garden and pool area. So this is so relaxing. Imagine you have family or friends gathered here, you have a barbecue, and in the evenings, this is such a nice and relaxing atmosphere. So you have a private sink space here. You have the entire wall having storage, and you already have a split-type air conditioning unit over here. So you can even stay here for an hour and relax in your bathtub. And you already have your toilet here. And in terms of lighting, you even have a frosted glass window here, which allows the ambient light coming from the master bedroom to flow into this room. And from here, you have plenty of space. This is a nice display area for bags. And you have a tempered glass shower enclosure. And on the other side, you have a second private sink space. And you see that you even have a frosted glass door here so that all the natural light really flows into your master bathroom and walk-in closet space. So from the master bedroom, let's now take a look at the next bedroom. So if we're counting the guest room downstairs and the master bedroom, those are two bedrooms, and this next bedroom is the third bedroom. So the size of the bedroom doesn't feel like a secondary bedroom at all. You can easily fit once again a king-sized bed over here. And it's also very well lit because of these large windows. Once again, you have these roll-up blinds. What's really nice about roll-up blinds is they're very low maintenance. They're very easy to replace. And in addition, they're also very minimalist in terms of their look. Because once you, once you close them up, it's almost as if they aren't there at all. You already have a split-type air conditioning unit here. Once again, the flooring, which is consistent throughout the second level of the house. And once again, you have your walk-in closet space. And what's really nice about the closet space, I'd just like to point out for this house, is how easy it is to slide open the cabinetry. And on the other side of the walk-in closet space, you have your own bath area. So you once again have a very well-ventilated space because of the window. You have tempered glass for the shower enclosure. And you even have additional exhaust as well. And from here, you see you even have a clear separation from the walk-in closet space, and the bath area. Now let's go. So here's another perspective of this room. You can really appreciate the size from this angle. And now let's head on over towards the fourth bedroom. It's really so welcoming, this entire family hallway space, because it's a great space for the family to convene. Even if you have other amenity areas downstairs, you just want to relax and spend time together without going up and down. You can even have potentially like a small refrigerator on this side and really make this a recreational space. And here you have the fourth bedroom. The fourth bedroom is almost identical in size to the third bedroom. You can easily fit once again a large bed over here or it's excellent to have two beds if you're gonna have this to be shared by two people. 
And in terms of the height, the ceiling is quite high in terms of reference. I'm 5 feet 10 inches in terms of height, so someone who's about 5 feet tall would be up to my chin. So this still gives you plenty of room and you also have the option to have your large widescreen TV on this side and your bed on the other side of the room. There's also plenty of space for additional storage here, even a study table. And you even have your walk-in closet space here with a bath area. So you see that you have your walk-in closet space once again here. And even an additional area here for bags and other private items. And on this side, you have your bath area. So the configuration is identical to the last room. Once again, with the tempered glass shower enclosure and the large mirror. And from here, let's take a look at the fifth bedroom. So this house is so nice. We're actually shooting this around noon time. And of course the temperature is high, but because of the configuration of the house, I really can't even be bothered with how hot it is outside because the house is really, really so nice. And now let's take a look here. You have a different configuration here for this room. It's on the other side of the property and you also have like a small ante area here coming in but you have a square shape here so there's still a lot of ways you can configure this room. Once again, so much natural light with these large windows and you have a view here of your garden. And even from here, here's another great view. Once you look out, there's your garden space and pool area. And over here, you have a walk-in closet space. So every room, every bedroom really has its own private walk-in closet and bath space. We hope you enjoyed this property tour video for this beautiful, modern, massive, and minimalist house and lot for sale located here in Ayala, Alabang, Muntinlupa City. If you want to know more about this property or visit it in person, just click the description below where you can get in touch with us through our email and number shown there. You can also send us a message on Instagram, Facebook, and our website. And just to be clear, Shuki here is the temporary guardian of the house. We don't really let him in, but we just brought him in for the video and we made sure everything is clean just to clarify. So once again, my name is Jake Bautista from MetroGuide Realty. Thank you for watching and we look forward to bringing you clarity, quality, and convenience in finding a great Metro Manila home for you and your family. Contact us today in the email and number shown here to schedule a property viewing. You can also click the description below for the property details. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing you and your family a great Metro Manila home.